Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Yo, what's poppin'? As you can see behind me, I'm back at the tiny creek that I recently fished and we're after whatever bites. I've got my brand new fancy ultralight rod and reel and I'm stoked to break this thing in on some more fish. That all being said, today is special because I'm fishing with only handcrafted lures from subscribers. First and foremost, I'm starting out with these little hand poured Helgramite plastics that my man John down in Texas sent me. Super stoked about these things. He sent them to me a long time ago. I'm finally getting around to fishing with them. They look dynamite. I honestly think they could catch just about anything. If the plastics aren't working super well and I wanna cover a little bit more water, I've also also got some handmade spinners from my man Michael out in California. Between these two things, I'm thinking I'm gonna catch some fish. Regardless, let's stop yipping and yapping. Let's start casting blasts and let's go. I tell you what, it still doesn't feel normal picking up this ultralight. This thing is so lightweight. It's like unbelievable how lightweight this rod and reel is. There's a fish. All right, we're on the board. We are on the board. Little Creek Chub, to be expected. Uh, honestly, I've uh, been exploring a lot so far today and kind of came up to this area where I've fished it once before, but I've never waded it. So I kind of have an opportunity to fish it very differently. It's actually a really pretty Creek Chub, very small, but he's the species we were looking for to tell you the truth. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about it as I was coming up here, I was like, I bet you nobody's ever targeted Creek Chubs on a Dobbins rod before. That's probably a first, it's gotta be a first. I'm not saying people haven't caught them on Dobbins rods, but I can't imagine anyone that spends the money on a Dobbins rod actually targets Creek Chubs. That is until today. Oh, I just missed one, it! I'm not using a float today and these Creek Chubs are very light biters. And so if you don't use a float, it can be challenging to detect the bite because if you have just a little bit of slack in your line, you just don't even really feel them. Their bite is just kind of like mush. There he is. All right, I knew there'd be more than one in here. Same exact size as the last one. Look at that though, tiny little plastic, tiny little chub. There's just not too many people out there that get excited about a fish like this, but man, I'll take it. I will take it. You know, I'm probably not gonna go fishing for them during the spring or summer when I could be catching, you know, so many different species, but this time of year, there's just not a lot of other species that I really could be targeting. There he is. All right. Another little guy, a little bit bigger than the last couple. Let's see if I can just grab him by the cheeks. Chill out, buddy. This one's got more pink on his cheeks. The variation in color is kind of interesting. And I, I think it, I'm, I'm assuming it has to do with male and female, but I don't know. Sometimes that lateral line down the side can be extremely prominent. Other times it's like this and it's not that prominent, but then they get that pinkish purple cheeks, which I think is pretty cool. Anyways. Very small fish, but I will take them. I mean, look at the habitat that I'm fishing. Just an urban creek that's really, really narrow. It's just such a wild setting. I love exploring places like this, and you never know, I might catch a trout. If I caught a trout here, I would go nuts. I'll show you that plastic real quick. Like I said, it's just like a little Helgramite lure. It's really nice looking plastic. It fits on the mule jig perfectly. There, oh, I missed him. There he is. I knew I'd get another one in there. That's the best one of the day. Look at that. Look at that eyeball. Such a crazy looking fish. I mean, they're definitely ugly fish, but at the same time, they're so unique. And uh, man, I'm just, I honestly, it's funny. It's like, I thought that I was gonna go Creek Chub fishing once and kind of just be done with it for a while. But man, I tell you what, I'm kind of addicted to these fish. I don't care what I'm catching. It's just like the process of catching it is super fun. Like in these tight quarters, fishing with really small stuff and uh, the way that they bite, it's just a fun hook set, especially with the float. When that float just flicks like once or twice, you know a fish is messing with it and you just pop them. Without a float, you definitely have to be a little bit more attentive, really watching that line. I tell you what, no matter what, this is good practice for fishing for other species too. They may not be known as a sport fish necessarily, but that doesn't mean that you can't become a better fisherman by targeting them. Another one. See like when you can detect a bite from a fish this small, uh, I think that means that you have to be a somewhat decent angler. Yeah, I just called myself a decent angler, okay? That's a tiny, tiny fish. Like most people would be like, I have no interest in catching that. But me, dude, if I catch a fish that big and I can feel that bite, that's just fine tuning my skills, baby. I genuinely think that's the smallest creek chub I've ever caught. Get an expensive uh, ultralight, all to target fish like this. Yeah, makes sense. Good spend of money, I tell you what. We're having some pretty good success today. I'm feeling it. There he is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God, it's so weird to reel left-handed. I've literally like never set up a spinning reel with left hand until today. Man, look at this one. Like I said, the color variation is awesome. That one's got an awesome lateral line. Ugly, but at the same time, beautiful. Big fan. All right, Creek Chub, I'm going to name you, I'm going to name him Corbin. All right, Corbin, see ya. 
The question is, is this what John expected when he sent me these plastics? Was he like, ooh, I hope Ethan smashes creek chubs on these things. He was probably thinking more like bass or panfish, um, trout maybe. But no, I'm just like, bro, I'm fishing these puppies for creek chubs. That's like the best compliment I can give you. If I'm fishing with your plastics for creek chubs, that means I really like them. Just really smashing them. This pool has been a game changer right here. Okay, we caught a bunch of fish out of this pool. Let's keep moving, keep exploring a little bit. Literally, there's like this little tiny pool right here. If I can catch Creek Chub in that, that's gonna be so epic. There's not a lot of fish you can do this kind of stuff for. Just like the most tight quarters. This would be epic. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap. I looked down and a giant brown trout was holding this. You have to be kidding me. That was insanity. That was a freaking toad brownie. I cannot believe my eyes. I was coming up here looking for creek chubs and that was a massive brown trout. Holy crap, that might've been my PB. I didn't get a good hook set on him because I'm just in the middle of a bunch of junk. Man, I popped him in the nose so there's no way he comes back but he's in this brush pile somewhere. I don't even care that I missed him. I, I gotta be honest with you. I was not set up. I didn't deserve that fish. Like I was not ready for something like that to happen. You always gotta be ready for that crap, I guess, but holy crap. But now I'm fired up. Now I know that this place has potential for that kind of stuff. I don't even know. I don't even wanna estimate the size of it. It was just massive. And I saw the jaw on it and it just had one of those crazy beaks. Mark my words, I'll be back. I gotta catch that brown trout. My buddy Tyler is the one that kind of told me about this spot to try and uh, he's gonna see this and freak out. He's the one who told me that there are trout here and I've always obviously believed that there are trout here. I just figured because it's such small water, I figured there wasn't a huge population and I still don't think there's a huge population, but I would have never known there'd be a trout like that here. Okay, quick update. I tell you what, I'm having fun with the creek chubs, but man, that brown trout was huge. I'm so fired up. I don't even know what to think. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and really make an effort for trout. Also, Oh, shout out to Michael in California. He sent me some spinners. This is one of them. I'm not going to get a chance to fish with them today because it's so tight quarters and there's so much wood everywhere. I feel like all I'd be doing is snagging. That being said, they look money and I look forward to trying them in the future. But as for today, I tell you what, my new ultralight definitely has some juju, but at the same time, I'm a big fan of this tiny little plastic. Look at this thing. It's so tiny. It's so beautiful and I like it had to give it a little kiss. Okay, so even if I don't have any more interactions with trout today, I feel really good about the one that I did. And then secondly, I am totally fine if I just keep catching creek chubs because I'm having fun with it. It's just like, I'm just like precisely placing this tiny little jig and just waiting for like the most finicky little bite and then popping creek chubs. Man, no matter what kind of fish you're fishing for, if you're fishing this type of situation, it's fun. It's I, I'm fine tuning my skills while catching little greasy fish. It's wonderful. Here creek chub, 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 chub. Here chubby, chubby, chubby. This creek creek can be so deceiving. I think that I've got like a foot of water and it's only like four inches. There's a fish. This creek chub, creek chub, creek chub, creek chub. Yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir, it is. Awesome fish, man. Look at that hook set. See you, buddy. It's really skinny water, but it's still knee deep. It has such good potential. I'm running out of daylight today, but I'm gonna have to keep exploring this. The waders are a necessity for this area. You know, despite the fact that I'm getting a wet right foot, I've got enough insulation to where it's not that big of a deal. Unfortunately, that sunlight is just directly behind me and my shadow is just getting thrown all the way up this creek. But this is very intriguing water right here. Gotta be something else in here. There's fish. All right. Oh, easy release. My line got hung on that little branch right there and it put a little slack in it. A little buddy got away. There he is. I wanted to fish this little pool one more time before we went home. This is actually the pool that I ended on last time and uh, it's just always got a couple creek chubs in it. That's a guaranteed chub right there. There he is. I called it. I knew that was a guarantee. Literally, that was such a money cast. I've made some really good casts today. It is a, absolutely a great way to get better at casting. It's coming out here and fishing this kind of stuff, man. I said it a couple times today, but man, I can't say it enough. I cannot preach it enough. Fishing stuff like this, fine tuning the skills, baby. Just another little chub ski. Scratch his little head. How do you like that? You like that? I think he likes me. I should have a pet creek chub. That'd be cool. There he is. 
All right, he was carrying it. I knew my line was moving. When in doubt, set the hook. It takes a little pop. You don't even have to set the hook very hard on these guys. Their mouth is so soft. You can just give them a little pop and it just buries right in that roof of the mouth. There you go. All right, slimy. Man, he's greasy. My fingers are all greasy now. You know what? I feel like my brain is not working anymore. I'm super tired and I'm looking forward to just sitting around eating some food and relaxing for the rest of the day. I tell you what, this soft plastic right here, thanks again to Walker Texas Angler on Instagram. Go check him out. He makes some pretty cool little soft plastics and uh, he sent me a couple so I figured I better go chase some fish with them. I tell you what, they work quite well for Creek Chub but obviously today I think the highlight of the trip was a giant brown trout. Even though I missed him, it's all good. Here's why. One, it gives me super high hopes for this area in the future for trout fishing. Maybe not quantity but quality. And two, it gives me high hopes that these small plastics like this can work quite well for big browns. Okay, my fingers feel like icicles so I think that's probably my cue to go home. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. We'll catch you next time.